What if I told you that the role of a tech lead isn't just about writing code? In today's video, we're diving into one of the most debated topics in the tech world. Should a tech lead code? As someone with 12 years of experience in the development industry, I will share my insights on how the best tech leads approach their work and whether coding fits into their busy schedules. One of the trickiest questions about the role of a tech lead is whether they should code. Depending on who you ask, you might get a different answer. Most will say tech leads should code while others will argue that coding should be left to the developers. I have observed that the best tech leads strike a delicate balance between coding and their other responsibilities. Let's explore this in more detail. The role of a tech lead is multi-faced. You are not just a senior developer, you are a mentor, a project manager, and a problem solver. Your primary responsibility, including making your team grow, ensuring a timely project delivery, participating in countless meetings and dealing with the occasional fires that pop up. Given these duties, it's clear that time is a scarce resource for tech lead. The truth is, there's often isn't enough time for a tech lead to code regularly. Your main focus should be on your team and the project success. This means guiding your team, removing obstacles and making strategic decisions. In short, you are a multiplier, concept I borrow from this book. However, this doesn't mean that you should never code. Coding can still be part of your role, but it should be the exception rather than the rule. Let me list some of the reasons you might want to code. The tech world evolves rapidly. New tools, frameworks, and best practices emerges all the time. If you code occasionally, you can stay up to date with these changes. This keeps your skills sharp and helps you make informed decisions about the technologies your team should use. It can be incredibly motivating when your team sees you coding. It shows that you're not just a manager, but also a skilled developer who understands their challenges. This can build respect and trust within your team. Sometimes coding can be the best way to understand a problem your team is experiencing repetitively. By rolling up your sleeves and diving into the code, you can change a process that will reduce friction the next time someone needs to perform a task. The most common example is a framework update or upgrading to the latest Java. While these benefits are significant, it's essential to strike a balance. Your primary role as a tech lead is to support your team and ensure the project success. Because in each one of those previous scenarios, you become an individual contributor. Now, if you still want to code from time to time, you should consider the following. As a tech lead, you wear many hats. You are responsible for the technical directions of the project, mentoring team members, and ensuring that deadlines are met. These responsibilities are crucial for the success of the project and the growth of your team. To manage this effectively, you need to prioritize your task. Start by identifying your most critical responsibilities. This might include planning the project technical architecture, conducting code reviews, and facilitating team meetings. Make sure these tasks are at the top of your to-do list. Now, assuming you handle all your top priorities, you can find time to code during your downtime. This could be during periods when the project is running smoothly and there are no immediate fires to put out. Make sure you choose only side projects or tasks without strict deadlines. Working on side projects allows you to explore new technologies and approaches without the pressure of deadlines. It also gives you the, it also gives you the flexibility to code at your own pace. This way you can continue to develop your technical skill while fulfilling your primary responsibility as a tech lead. If you master delegation, you could have enough time to code. But if you have not mastered it yet, you should watch this video. Thanks for watching, I will see you next week.